teach the Whittington Hospital approved method of how to scrub into theatre. We will cover why it is important to maintain an aseptic technique, how to scrub into theatre and the do's and don'ts of scrubbing in. Why is this important to maintain an aseptic technique? We all have microorganisms on our skin, hair and clothing. During invasive procedures, it is important that these microorganisms are not introduced into the patient's body. Therefore, sterile attire is worn during such procedures. Hand hygiene is especially important because these come into closest contact with the patient. They are also an important source of transient bacteria, so it is important to re-scrub between patients when in theatre. Let's move on to the scrubbing procedure itself. Before entering the clean zone of a theatre, you must make sure your hands are socially clean and take off any nail polish. Take off your clothes and jewellery and put on theatre scrubs and shoes and put on a theatre hat. Now you're ready to enter the theatre. When you first enter the scrubbing room, you should find and set up your equipment. There are three things that you will need. One, a mask. Put on a visor mask. This should cover your mouth and nose. Two, a gown. And three, a pair of gloves, making sure you've picked the correct size. Now, open the gown packet onto a flat surface. Tear open the plastic packet and allow the white packet inside to tip out, making sure not to touch it. Open each corner of this white packet in turn, extending the edges to ensure they don't refold. This should reveal its contents. This is now your sterile field. Next, take the packet of gloves and open it onto the sterile field, allowing the white packet inside to tip out. Take a scrubbing brush. As you can see, there is a brush on one side and a sponge on the other. There is also a nail pick in this container. Open the packet and leave the brush resting in its container by the sink. There are eight steps to scrubbing in. One, washing your hands and forearms for the first time. Turn on the taps. You can use your hands, but from now on, use only your elbows to manoeuvre the taps and solution dispenser to ensure an aseptic technique. Rinse your hands and forearms with warm water. Then, using three doses of scrub solution, wash thoroughly from fingertips to elbows for one minute. Make sure you always keep your hands elevated above your elbows to avoid recontamination of the hands once they have been washed. Two, cleaning your nails. Firstly, lather your hands and forearms with scrubbing solution. Then, take the nail pick and clean each nail in turn, rinsing the pick after each nail. The pick should later be discarded in the sharps bin. For now, you can rest it by the sink. Then rinse your hands and forearms. Now it's time to pick up the brush. Apply scrub solution and water to the brush and scrub your nails on both hands. Lastly, rinse your hands and forearms. 3. Washing your hands and forearms for the second time. This time, wash your arms from the hands to your elbow using the scrub solution and then rinse off. Make sure you pay particular attention to cleaning your hands in this step. This should take 3 minutes. 4. Turn off the taps. Do this with your elbows, remembering to keep your hands elevated. 5. Drying your arms. Now you can turn towards your equipment. At the top of the gown packet, there should be two white towels. Dry each arm in turn, using a different towel for each arm. The skin should be blotted dry, starting at the fingertips and working down towards the elbows. You should not move the towel back up the arm. Then, discard the towel immediately after use. 6. Putting on the gown. The gown should now be visible in the packet. You should be able to see two pockets on either side of the gown. Slide your hands into these pockets and raise and abduct your arms. This should slide your arms into the sleeves of the gown and open it up around you. 
Do not allow your hands to come out of the sleeves at this point. They should remain in the cuffs. When doing this step, make sure you're in an open space so that the gown does not come into contact with any surrounding objects. A circulating person will assist you with securing your gown by tying up the back. 7. Putting on the gloves. In your sterile field, open the two sides of the gloves packets, extending the edges to ensure they don't refold. Each glove will be labelled with left or right. With your hands still in the cuffs of your gown, take the left glove and place it on the left cuff. Your left hand should be facing palm side up in the cuff. The fingers of the glove should be facing towards you. Through the sleeve, grasp the cuff of the glove, draw it over your sleeve using the other hand. Now manoeuvre your hand into the glove. The white part of your sleeve should remain on the inside of the glove. Do the same with your other hand. Never allow your bare hands to come in contact with the gloves or the outside of the gown. 8. Securing the gown. You will find a card on your waist which you should now hand to the circulating person. Make sure you are holding the blue side and offer them the white side. They will hold this card as you turn 360 degrees. Then pull on the strap attached to the card and tie onto your gown. Well done. You are now scrubbed in. You will be able to touch anything in the sterile field. This includes the preps and drapes part of the patient and anything that is covered in a blue or green fabric. To remove the gown, pull on the front and remove the gown with the glove still attached, folding it in on itself. Dispose of it in a clinical waste bin. Wash your hands immediately afterwards. Now let's talk about some do's and don'ts to consider when scrubbing in. Do go to the toilet before theatre. This saves you having to scrub up twice. Do ask the theatre staff if you are unsure about any aspect of scrubbing in and they will be happy to help you. Do keep your hands crossed over your chest when you are not in the sterile field. Do tell a member of the theatre staff immediately if you think you have come into contact with anything which is not in the sterile field. They will advise you accordingly. Don't rush the scrubbing procedure because you are afraid of being late. Don't let your hands fall below waist level after you've scrubbed in. Don't touch your head or face during surgery. If you have an itchy nose or your mask is uncomfortable, ask another member of the theatre team to help you. Don't scrub in if you have an open cut in your hands. It is best to ask a member of the team what to do in this situation. To summarise, this video has outlined the importance of maintaining an aseptic technique when scrubbing up into theatre. We have demonstrated the eight steps of how to scrub in and covered key do and don't points to remember. The best way to become familiar with scrubbing up is to practice it as much as possible. Thank you for watching.